Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm fantastic. I had a cup of bulletproof coffee. I've been talking to some great radio stations across America. I mean, life is good. Well, you with the best right now, baby, okay? <laughs> Woo! Finally made it. Finally made it. You feel me? <laughs> I'm so excited about this interview. I'm a huge fan of this actor, Joseph Sakura, also known as Tommy Egan in the Power Universe. Power Book 4, the hottest show on stars, most watched out of the Power franchises, set your hometown. How are you feeling going home? Well, I got to say, yeah, it was an incredible homecoming of sorts. You know, I haven't lived in Chicago since the late 90s. I've been in New York City a long time. To go back to Chicago was really a rediscovering of the city. Just like Tommy was learning the city, Joseph was relearning the city. I had an incredible time uh, filming in Chicago, and we were really embraced by the city. Alec Baldwin has been sued recently because of the tragedy that happened on the Rust set. As far as the Power franchise goes, has there been any alterations as to how you all handle prop guns? We do an incredibly thorough, inspective job from the prop master down to the armorer down to the actors, to the first AD. We're all incredible professionals, absolutely on point. Weapons are always checked, double checked, and triple checked. I'm sure there was an influence from Rust, but even pre-Rust, so many of the effects for safety's sake, because the technology has advanced so greatly, have been put in in post. So a lot of the gun flashes, a lot of the blood, a lot of the things that you usually expect to be physical manifestations of the effects are now done in post. So just we're always we're always safety minded and safety comes first. Always. We're talking to Joseph Sakura from Power Book Four Force. I'm in a Facebook group. Don't think I'm weird about the power universe. And um <laughs> I've got some questions. I don't think from... you're weird at all. I, I love that. <laughs> I've got some questions from folks in that group. I'm gonna ask you in a little bit, but I wanted to know, do you know who comedian Gary Owen is and do you see a resemblance between him and yourself we're related <laughs> well he show claimed y'all his cousins at the comedy <laughs> show last week fam i just want you to know that <laughs> yeah no no we're related everybody knows that <laughs> in real life are you playing with me <laughs> no in real life we're related how See, gary's second cousin gloria is actually married to my sister amy and my sister amy's roommate went to college with the niece of Gary's grandmother on his father's side. Whatever. <laughs> See, this is why we love you. <laughs> I'm convinced. I, I don't even know, but I'm convinced. Yeah, you think it's true, Brian? Yeah, I no. Think it's true. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're a great actor. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think the appeal is for your character, Tommy Egan? People love him. Women love him. Men love him. Well, he's kind of got that Steve McQueen-esque thing to him where, where yeah, women love him and men want to be him. Part of that is, is his determination, his unyieldingness. He's steadfast in his loyalty and his ability to strike, sometimes even to his own detriment. But he is he stands his ground. He stands for what up for what he believes in. He's got so much swagger and style. He's just got the look and the feel of a person who worked really hard to get to where they were. And I think a lot of us can just relate to that struggle. Joseph, uh, you know, uh, Kansas City, we got a plethora of beautiful ladies. And I'm sure that being on power yeah. has uh, definitely upped your pimp game 2,000%. Oh, but some of, the, hey. some of the chocolate honeys here in Kansas City want to know if you're down with the swirl. I think he's married. Oh man, this is my first. <laughs> I am married, but I've been I've been down with the swirl since since the beginning. My first kiss was a black girl. You know, uh -oh. let's just say other things were to uh, 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 females of color. Yeah, I mean, my God, who's not? Like when I, I it's so funny when uh, when black women say to me like, Are "You like black girls?" I'm like, "Who doesn't?" Yes. <laughs> See, this one to tell out. I love Dari. I've got some of these questions from my Facebook group. Kendra wanted to know. Can we get a clue about what's going to happen between Diamond and his brother? Oh, my God. Kendra keeps asking me that same question, too. So she's asking you, too, huh? <laughs> but yeah, like, we're going to get to it. Um, Diamond is, uh, Diamond is, he's kind of exercising his own demons. And that is, is he going to return back to the Diamond that he was before he got locked up? Or is he going to continue his pursuit to stay 
you know, as clean as he can. Is the dealing is the drugs that he's involved with right now? Is that a means to an end, or is that just the beginning of uh, of his second time through to the game? So I think that something has got to come to a head between those two brothers. Like Diamond said in episode three, when they went in the boxing ring, if we do this now, there's no going back. And Jannard, played beautifully by Chris Lofton, says, "Yeah, but there's no going forward if we don't. We're, we're heading down that road, and I don't think that there's a, they're burning a bridge behind them." Here's another question from the Power Hour, the Night Shift Facebook group I'm a part of. They want to know: Are Tommy and Liliana gonna hook up? Well, there are definitely some chemistry there, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I think that there's a lot of commonality there. And I think that familiarity doesn't only breed contempt. I think that it can also uh, breed curiosity in that way. I think that Tommy, just like with Lakeisha, Tommy had that uh, similarity. They both grew up in the same neighborhood. They had those con- that connection. Um, and I think that Liliana, just being a New Yorker, having that history with them, even though it was a violent and tumultuous one, there is a connectedness. There is, uh, like Liliana keeps pointing out, when you have when you're in something like this it's a relationship regardless of what you want what you want Tommy we're, we are in this together now I'm definitely interested to see uh, how that uh, relationship develops and, and and buds and blossoms Joseph Sakura we thank you so much for calling up this morning this is my Sunday routine to make myself some breakfast and sit down and watch you know, I don't wait till it come on at 8 o'clock. I look at it because I got the stars at. Oh, no, you got that stars at. <laughs> yeah. I'm not mad at you for that. She ain't got no discipline either, man. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Joseph Sakura, thank you so much for joining us, fam. We appreciate your time. Have a good one. Thank you, guys. Anytime. I'll see you in person next time I'm through there because I got to eat some gates next time uh, I'm in Kansas. Oh, boy, look. We got presidential planner, please. We got you. <laughs> <laughs> <Have a good> <laughs>